Think about the last time you attended a training session at work, or the last time you attended a class, or perhaps an art lecture at a local gallery. These are all examples of informative speaking. Informative speaking is sort of like an oral research paper. When we speak informatively, we use factual research-based information to teach our audience something. The general purpose of these speeches should be pretty obvious, to inform. In this situation, the research doesn't necessarily mean like academic research you might find on EBSCO. While that's certainly one type of research, research for informative speeches can come from a variety of sources. Books, websites, maybe not Wikipedia, your grandma, or another personal interview. What I mean here is that informative speeches are based on facts or verifiable information. They are not based on personal opinions and they're not designed to persuade. That's a key point, so I'm going to repeat it. Informative speeches are not designed to persuade, meaning the goal in of informative speech is not to get us to believe something or agree or disagree with something or to do something. I think this tends to be the most challenging part of informative speaking, staying neutral and objective. So let's look at a few examples. There's a few different types of informative speeches. Speeches about objects, people, concepts, events, processes, and issues are a couple of examples according to the informative chapter of communication in the real world. Of these, objects, concepts, and events tend to be the easiest topics because they're the most neutral and objective by nature and they're easy to research. Speeches about people and processes can be a little bit more challenging, but still are fairly neutral, as long as you aren't advocating that someone is great or the best or that people should perform a process in a certain way. It can sometimes be a little bit challenging finding the unbiased research on people. For example, if your topic is President Trump or really any other president, it's likely most of your sources will have a bias one way or another. Process speeches have the additional challenge with research. How to make tacos is a really interesting topic, but finding credible sources to support this becomes an extra challenge. Issues tend to be the most difficult topic for staying neutral. For example, if a student wanted to give a speech on the effects of video games on children, it becomes very difficult to balance those positive and negative effects so the speech isn't one-sided, and also really difficult to not take one side and advocate there are negative effects that are a problem or that positive effects are a good thing. So, what are some topics that work well for this speech? Many students going into healthcare will choose a disease. This works well as it's almost always a neutral topic, is easily organized as symptoms, causes, and treatments as the main points. Students interested in history might choose an event. While the Civil War might be a little too broad to cover in three to five minutes, a more specific topic like the Battle of Gettysburg works well, organized chronologically like before leading up to the battle, during and after, or the impacts of the battle. Students speaking to a group at work might demonstrate a particular work process. When I took this course many years ago, I was a work study in the admissions office, and for my informative speech, I explained how to process a student application in three steps, each step being a main point. Perhaps a quick how-to on a particular software application, or explaining a particular product like how a particular engine works. Another idea that works well is explaining a particular species of animal. Perhaps cats is a little too broad, but calico cats or Siamese cats. Or I suppose you could choose a dog breed if cat isn't your thing, but I'm just going to leave it at that to avoid adding any persuasion here. Bottom line, keep your speech topic specific, neutral, try to relate to your audience throughout your speech. This will help keep your audience engaged throughout the whole speech.